Hello everyone, welcome back to Avery's Apron. My name is Avery and day six of my Countdown to Christmas series is well underway. Today we are making this amazingly cheesy, creamy, delicious chicken broccoli casserole, okay? Otherwise known as chicken divan, chicken divan. I don't know how you pronounce it. There's a lot of debate about how you pronounce it. Who really cares, okay? All we know is that it's delicious and I'm excited to share the recipe. So here are all the ingredients that you're going to need for this recipe. All of my exact measurements are listed in the description box below along with a couple recipe notes for you and we are gonna get right into it. Let's go. Okay, so because I'm using fresh broccoli for this recipe, I am going to go ahead and saute it for a little bit just to get the raw bite out of it, okay? Um, if you choose to use frozen broccoli, you can use frozen broccoli as a substitute. If you choose to use frozen broccoli, then you would skip this step, okay? You could just take it out of your freezer and allow it to thaw completely before mixing it into your casserole. So I'd say maybe about an hour or two before prepping this, take it out of the freezer so that it can get soft, okay? Um, but yes, like I said, since I'm using fresh broccoli, I am sauteing it. Um, and just saute it for however long you like. It just depends on how soft you like your broccoli. I do like my broccoli to still have a little bit of a crunch to it, so I'm only sauteing mine for about two minutes or so. You could also steam your broccoli if you want. Um, that would help it get nice and soft if you prefer your broccoli softer, but yeah. Um, if you like your broccoli with a crunch like me, then sauteing for about two or three minutes should do the trick. All right, now that my broccoli is finished, I've just put it on a plate to the side and I'm gonna start mixing up the cream sauce for my casserole, all right? So the base for this is just a can of cream of chicken soup, about a cup of mayonnaise, and about half a cup of um, heavy cream or milk or half and half, whatever you've got. Today I'm using half and half, but you could totally just use milk, okay? That's totally fine. So I'm whisking this together, and then I'm gonna season it. So I'm going in with some oregano, some garlic powder, onion powder, salt, and pepper okay we're gonna whisk that together and then we're gonna start mixing in our other ingredients Now that that is nicely mixed together, I am going in with my chicken, okay? This is just a couple cups of leftover chicken that I cubed up, all right? You can totally use a rotisserie chicken from your local grocery store, or if you've got like some frozen chicken breasts in the freezer, you can thaw them and cube them up, saute them on the stove, and then add them to this. You don't wanna add raw chicken to this recipe because um, the cook time in the oven is not long enough to cook the chicken all the way through, okay? You wanna make sure that you are using pre-cooked chicken chicken okay um, I also went in with a couple cups of pre-cooked rice as well now in the traditional chicken divine recipe there is no rice okay um, it's just the chicken and the broccoli um, the cream sauce and the cheese but I wanted to make this like a whole meal situation so I went ahead and added rice to it okay but you could totally leave that out if you wanted to you could just use the chicken and the broccoli and um, I've seen people serve this over like a baked potato or something like that, that would be a great option as well, all right? I also forgot to mention earlier that if you do use frozen broccoli, be sure to get like a paper towel or something and pat the broccoli dry, okay? It will have a little bit of excess moisture from thawing it out and you don't wanna put that wet broccoli in your um, casserole. So be sure to kind of pat it dry a little bit before you mix it in. And at this point, I just went in with my cheeses. I'm using Gouda cheese and sharp cheddar for this. Um, I prefer cheeses with a little bit more of a bite that are a little more sharp, which is why I'm using them. And then I also think they pair well with the broccoli, okay? But if you prefer milder cheeses, then by all means, you can use a milder cheese for this. Whatever your favorite cheeses are, use those, okay? Um, I'm going in with a little more black pepper, a little cayenne for a kick, and then I'm also gonna add in a little bit more of my half and half just to thin it out a little bit. And then we are gonna go ahead and uh, get this in our pan and get it ready for the oven. Thank you. 
All right, this is looking fabulous. I have my casserole dish here and some cooking spray. I'm just gonna spray it down and add my mixture to the pan. And this is gonna bake in a 350 degree oven for about 20 to 25 minutes, okay? Remember, all of our ingredients are already cooked, so we're really just trying to melt the cheese down and get it nice and gooey, okay? So, yes, 20 to 25 minutes in a 350 degree oven, or until the top is nice and melty and brown and the edges are bubbling, okay? Um, as you can see, I had quite a bit of mixture left over in my bowl over there, so I just poured it into um, an aluminum pan, and I wrapped that pan in plastic wrap, and then I wrapped that in foil, and I popped it in the freezer, okay? So this is totally a great make-ahead meal that you could freeze and just pull out and bake whenever you're ready okay I'd say don't keep it longer than like six to eight weeks though in the freezer okay I don't know uh, I don't know if it'll be safe after maybe actually only six weeks all right we'll just we'll just go with six weeks but anyways I've got my leftover cheese I'm topping my casserole with that I'm also going to sprinkle on a little more pepper and a little more cayenne just for presentation purposes and then we're going to bake this Also wanted to mention that I did bake this uncovered, okay? There was no foil or anything on this. I just popped it in the oven as is. And after 25 minutes, here we are. Yum, so gooey and amazing. Guys, this is so like decadent and just amazing. It's just so good, okay? I'm gonna top mine off with a little bit of red pepper flakes because you know I like things spicy, all right? <laughs> yes, we are gonna top it off and that is it. That's gonna do it for today's video, you guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed this recipe. I hope you give it a try and I will talk to you guys in my next one. Bye.